Okay, if you guys have watched my previous video, I said that we can learn Krita software together. I probably have lied to you guys because I've tried out for weeks and then I gave up on learning it. It was good and everything, but I find it hard to find how to do the clipping mask and the alpha log stuff. So I try I I decided to give Medibank Pen Pro a try because I'm quite familiar with it. I've tried it out on my tab back then my s6 light tab back then so yeah i was cool and everything but i just don't like the brushes and then i heard of this app called fire alpaca from youtube actually i've i've heard of it long ago but i just never give it a try but it's a fire and alpaca it's animal in it so it's, it looks cute and even the website looks cute so i just like oh why don't we give this thing a try it even have like animation panel and it's completely free and the only thing is you need to pay for like dark mode and liquefy liquid fight tool on steam yeah i'm not gonna do that we're just gonna use the free version so the thing is the interface the way it looks everything is pretty similar with medibank pen pro that's i mean that's a good thing because i'm familiar with the interface of medibank pen then the fire alpaca wouldn't be that difficult for me to learn yeah now i'm just gonna quickly create a canvas and we're gonna try out the brushes yeah i hope it didn't disappoint me because yeah yeah so i try out the pen brush it's beautiful it's 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 an angel and then i tried out this brush called pencil um it was okay and then after that i found my new soulmate it's called pencil cage and it's so beautiful look at this it's perfect oh magnifique magnifique so yeah i love this brush already I love it! Congrats, Fire Alpaca developers! I love your app software. Yeah, it's beautiful. And then Fire Alpaca also have this thing called Brush Store where you can like download brush that is not like default on the app software when you install it. So you can just download it. Some of it you need like to pay or like get the Alpaca SE, the paid version. But the free one looks pretty good so far. And yeah, but I couldn't, it's, 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 there's a lot of texture brush and stamp brush that will help you a lot. But I couldn't find like pixel brush. I would actually would love to see pixel brush available for free on Fire Alpaca. Yeah, even though I'm not like a pixel art people, but I would love to see the pixel brush. Yeah. Again, now to the fun part where I just like sketch out stuff with the brushes that I found on Fire Alpaca. I would say it's nice, it's beautiful. My soulmate, which is the pencil sketchbook brush, I love it. I really love it. It's giving this like rough, sketchy, scratchy texture. I love it a lot. Yeah, I used to like. I used to use this type of brush back in like when I use HI Pen, Huyun Sketch, and Infinite Panther back when I was like digital drawing on my tab. So I yeah I just couldn't find this type of brushes on Medibank Paint unless I need to like create my own brush. But on File Pack I found it and I just fell in love. So yeah I'm just gonna give you guys some quick drawing that I made. Yeah. And also, I actually made a couple few drawings just to show you guys how like I just like start to get familiar with the software. And here is just like a quick time lapse of me doing a strawberry jam art. I, yeah, just like come out of nowhere and just like, okay, just do a strawberry jam and yeah i'm not quite satisfied with how it turns out but this is like the first ever complete art i made on fire alpaca and yeah i'm just like trying to get used to it so yeah this is how it looks like and then i do this like cake box art that i've been like working on for weeks but i never got to like finish it and finally finish it and yeah this is the quick process and this is how it looks like 
And then there's this character design named Liko, a male Calico cat that I'm working on right now. I'm just like working on the early design of the characters. And so far it turns out pretty good and Faya Alpaca really like helpful, especially with this cage book pencil brush. I love it so much. And yeah, I'm currently still working on this character design. I'm currently doing the 360 rotation of the body. If you want to see more about this character, you can check my art account, and this is how it turns out. Again, now to the fun part, as I said, the free version of Fire Alpaca does have animation panel. So this is just me trying out the animation panels on Fire Alpaca. I'm just doing a quick tulip flower dancing around. Yeah, I'm just like playing around with it and you know the like the what do you call it the frame it's like by folder you can see it on the layers mode there's like folders and each folder is like one frame so one folder is one frame and yeah so you can set up how many frames you want it like 12 fps or 24 fps anything you want but yeah i'm just doing 6 fps for now because this is just a quick animation i'm not good actually doing animation yeah, I'm just gonna do this quick. Okay, I'm just gonna fast forward and see how it turns out. Once you're done with animation, you can export it as GIF. And yeah, this is how it is, how it turns out for me. Uh, dancing to live with bunnies and sparkles. Yeah, so the animation works. Get it, try it out. Fire Alpaca, would it? Completely free. A quick outro, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any question about Fire Alpaca or like you want to see more about Fire Alpaca. So yeah, bye. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye bye.